So um, then I had taken uh, several different sprays. I took uh, two colors of fireworks sprays, um, a summer sky and a pear tart, and my piece of punchinella, and sprayed them to get um, some subtle background things. And I also took a perfect pearl forever violet and did it right here. So now I've got some shimmer and a little bit of texture on my page. And now I have drips. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up a little bit and dry it and just let it run where it will run for some more texture. Purple is my favorite color, so of course that's the color I'm going to go to because that's my happy color. But since I had a, an up and down day, then I'm thinking, you know, I'll put in the teals and the blues because that would signify the down part. Okay, so that's kind of run quite a bit. And I'm tired of holding the dryer, so I'm just going to take a paper towel and blot parts that are still not dry. Okay, so that's some nice texture in there. Okay, so now that it's dry, I think I want to go back and add another um, Forever Violet Punchinella area. So I'm going to put that down here. And my page has rippled a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe I could use my collage glue to just hold it down on my page a little flatter while I spray. Okay, and then let's pick it up and move it. And I think that it's just still a little too ripply to get what I'm looking for, but I'm just going to blot it. Take whatever texture it gives me. Alright, so now I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to take my paintbrush that still has some paint in it. But I don't want it to be drippy, so I'm going to blot it and see if I can get some texture this way. It may not have enough paint in it, but let's see. Got it. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then I think what would be good is to lay this right here and go back to my my palette and put some of my medium white on there. Put that in my brush. Again, I don't I want to blot it because I don't want too much in it. Okay. And do it again. There we go. Get a little bit of lighter color in there. I'm going to move the camera back. And I'm going to do this one more time down here. And I'm just brushing on my palette and picking up whatever I can get onto my brush. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Alright, let's let the punchinella rest. And I think I'm going to need to dry again. So let me do that. Now we've got some interest on our page. I also pulled out some 
stains and vellum and things that I had. And I think I'm just going to put them wherever. I'm just going to kind of throw them on there. And I've got this word that says bliss. So I think I'm going to pull it up here. And then I've got a an arrow that winds around. And I've got a thing that says journey of a thousand miles. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. So let's go ahead and and uh, get those going. So I have some uh, vellum tape and I'm going to get that. Adhesive by Scotch. Open that up and I'm going to use it for my vellum pieces. Put it at the top and the bottom. and then peel off the backing. And lay them on my page. Okay. I'm going to do that with the other one. This one says what doesn't kill you makes it stronger and enjoy the ride. I think I'm going to take off the enjoy the ride for the moment and I think I'm going to just maybe kind of round those edges a little bit I'm not trying to be neat with it just trimming it off so let's put the vellum adhesive on there that down here. Alright, then I'm going to use my collage stick from Ranger. As soon as I put my hands on it again, okay, to put my bliss sign on. This is a really good glue stick. I really like it. It works really well. So I'm going to point the bliss up And my liner pieces out of the way. And let's see if I want to use my other arrows on here. They're a little hard to see in this background, but I, can, I do kind of think I want to use them because it kind of shows my mood of up and down and all around. So I'm going to use the collage glue again and I'm going to have this one pointing down and then put this one kind of swirling around on the rest of the page so I get a uh, scratch paper so I can put my glue on without getting it all over my scrapbook page my original page. Sorry. These all oh, these things were just kind of out of my stash. I got a ephemera package, and they were in it. So yeah, let's put that one right on top of everything in the middle. 
And it's cool to layer because they're see-through, so they don't block anything. Then this little card, it's a Seven Gypsies piece of the ephemera. And I thought that I could put that on there for me, you know. That's me. <laughs> don't really feel like a queen today, but, you know, it is what it is. So I would think I'm going to pop that up. Got some dimensional pieces here. Okay, and I'm just going to put that up there. And then my journey piece can go right in the middle on top of the arrows and the bliss. So let me bring that back. Yeah, I find this collage stick. Um, Blue stick really sticks a lot of things. I really like it. Okay. Now all these pieces, most of them are transparent, so it's easy to layer. Okay. And then I have one last piece. It's a piece of metal. And it's an army boot, and it says, Stand strong and be true to yourself. And I think I'm just going to stick it right there and so I'm pretty much done with my journal page there I um, think I might go ahead and spray it with my forever violet again for some sparkle and shimmer and I'll pull it back off of that infamera right there and I'm going to blot it here and there. And I'm going to let this dry and call that done. So I hope your Mother's Day was a good day. And I hope that this coming week will be good for you. And uh, get inky, get painted, do something but get, you know, to make yourself happy. I think here's my whole page. I hope that you can see it. I'll put a picture of it up as well. And uh, well, I think this took us 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. It took me a few minutes to pick out some of the elements I wanted uh, going through my stash. But uh, this has kind of, been kind of cathartic for me today because it's feeling kind of iffy, kind of emotional, up and down. And um, I think that's helped me get it, get it out. I'm going to probably just put some paint in there on the edges just to keep that that white from showing right there. Doesn't matter which of the colors because they're all on it. Okay. So I will see you all next Monday. Have a good week.